everyone and welcome to Nerd Talk where we find out what makes you nerdy and today we have Just Stop. Before we get started, uh, there's one question I want to ask. Uh, how did you get your name or wh what made you choose that name in particular? Oh, well, uh, I've gotten the question uh, a few times before, but generally I just sort of wanted to make it sort of a statement. Like, uh, for instance, uh, reviews. I know it's kind of quick and quick and quick reviews, but at the time, he used uh, quick and reviews at the beginning of every video that I did. So that's what I sort of wanted to do. I wanted to have just stop at the beginning of every video that I did. And I just sort of changed it. And I also got inspired by people like, I hate everything and stuff like that. Yeah, uh... That's one thing in particular, your uh, channel at the beginning and some still now, it seems like you do a lot of uh, commentary or you talk about like other things going on in the community and was that like the main reason for the name and everything? Uh, well actually I talk more about general things, sort of like I hate everything. Yeah. So I'd say like uh, just stop the exam, blah blah blah, stuff like that. Uh, commentary was just sort of a natural evolution that I eventually got into them. Okay. Along with like reviews and stuff, because that's just what I like to do. Yeah. That's one thing, uh, Picker, I know. And one of your first videos that I uh, saw that blew up for you, that was the Butch Hartman video, and uh, the first one you did and everything. Uh, yeah. And that was a. Yeah, that was terrible. It's terrible, but it did uh, blow up your channel quite a bit, I know, but is there anything you learned in particular from that experience that you and carried with you from uh, then on? Well, it's not that yes, specifically, I did like, um, uh, so, so, so I spent a long time after that trying to just create videos which would get me views, which I would actually be proud of, so I made sure that I never made another video, like, which was shitty and just happened to get used because I wanted to be proud if I actually got used. Alright. Did you get any response back from them? Because I can... Uh, says, uh, hearing the... Uh, I only got like 50k. Alright. Uh, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's good. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I got some good feedback from them. I didn't know if he responded to you or not because I, uh, I know he's been kind of picky. Now, uh, for most of those videos in... Uh, you're doing a lot of reviews now. How much time do you put into uh, researching or uh, documenting before you start writing your scripts? I mean, that's a difficult uh, thing to answer because usually it depends, honestly. Uh, sometimes it's a lot easier. Like for my Mulan video, uh, it was easy for me to find all the resources that I needed to uh, because they were almost simultaneously next to each other because they came out very near one another. They were neatly organized and so on, so that's what maybe like two or three additional hours of research besides watching the movie, like twice, watching the original movie. But, but other things are a little bit less well known, it can be more difficult for me to find information on them, so maybe three to four hours of total research. Okay. It's hard to gauge research. Well, I just asked him because I know you're, oh, work on the Disney video and the Funimation video, that, ha for me personally, I feel like that would have took a lot of research time and energy to put forward. Yeah, yeah, those were very, yeah, those were very, yeah, research heavy, some of the more research heavy videos I've done. Did you have to go to archive sites, or? Uh, not occasion. Uh, usually I can try and find them by just searching for them on Google, but it's Now, I know one you said you were working on, and I, I know you're probably still working on it right now, but uh, the Crunchyroll video, is that, uh, how's that coming along for you? Um, well, I've gotten started on it, but I haven't gotten too far into it. There's a lot of other projects that I'm working on right now. I do plan to make it eventually, but it's been a very slow process. Uh, but I do plan to make it eventually, but there are a few many other things that I'm working on, so I'm going to put it on the back burner. 
you got to. No, uh, I just figured I asked if that was one thing I remember you saying, and I thought that would be interesting to see what you say about that. Yeah. Uh, one thing that, I, uh, that I've watched, and a lot of people are starting to really dig their heels into it now, especially with Disney as a company. Is there anything in yeah. uh, particular that you wish they would change about their company overall, about how they're doing things now? Um, I'd like to, well, I mean, obviously they most likely will not listen to me, but I'd probably say to try and stop oversaturating the markets, because, like, I know that as a company they want to make money, and I understand that, and it's in their interest to try and not oversaturate the market, because I've been seeing films like Solo, and they oversaturate too much, people aren't going to buy what they're selling. And that includes like Star Wars toys, some Marvel toys, etc. Because they create so much in such a short time period that people stop wanting to buy it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, one thing you've been getting into a, a little bit more recently, I noticed in your videos, and I do like them as your anime reviews that you've been doing, like My Hero and uh, B Stars in particular. Yeah. Is there anything that surprises you about those properties once you start trying to write a review for them? I mean, not really, because usually when I like to review something, I've already gotten myself a point with the property and I rewatch it, even though I've already watched it. Mm -hmm. There are usually a few instances where I make a video on something that I haven't watched before. It's like my first time doing so. Uh, the Mulan video is a rare exception to that. But most of the time, I'm usually just watching the series that I already like when I'm talking about the end. Okay. One thing I was going to ask you also is, I know Miss, uh, this one got a little bit of traction too, just because it's the person in question, but Mr. Enter video, and I thought you did a really good job explaining his editing and practices he could do to improve his videos and everything. Would you give those same points to, like, of starting YouTube channels, or how would you uh, go about advising somebody who wants to start their YouTube channel? I mean, specifically, if you have Sony Vegas, and those are probably good tips. There are some things that I would want them updated on, though I don't remember specifically. I know there are some things that are now outdated for my editing style that I think would be more efficient, but I can't remember exact details there. However, when it comes to starting up a YouTube channel, I just say you need to start. Most people never start, and that's think that they don't get into it, you need to do it to be able to get better. It doesn't matter if you have an instinct with that or not, just do it. That, uh, one thing that's changed quite a bit from your channel at the start to now is, uh, your style of avatar as well. I noticed uh, that there's a big change, like right now your character has very long uh, hair and everything. Is that just because you're worn out yeah. or, like... Uh, it's just sort of like, uh, I'm trying to do this sort of thing with like an evolution type deal with my character now. And at first it was just sort of different artists giving the same interpretation of the character, but uh, as of late I've stuck with the same artist, so I wanted to try and switch things up since I was taking them Mm-hmm. I didn't know if there was like this. Also, uh, I, try, like, uh, I do try and like reflect it similarly to myself, and I haven't had any character. <laughs> it's not quite the length character, but yeah. Well, I didn't know if it was because you were going through changes, like, oh, I'm heading towards this milestone in my life, like, oh god, I, I have ratty hair because I can't focus on anything, so I'm like, yeah. One thing that I wanted to talk to you about in particular is, uh, like I said, for me, I'm just now starting my YouTube channel. I'm uh, getting in the swing of things in my podcast and everything, like I said. And you said just start is a great example. And uh, knowing, uh, I've always heard, like, know your audience as well. Uh, but uh, one thing... Well, I, the, the, I the most basic advice I give is uh, just start because... Yeah. To get to the more advanced techniques, such as knowing your audience, trying to build an audience, uh, thumbnail customization, uh, optimization tips uh, for the YouTube algorithm and so on, the first thing you need to do is to start.
start, and you might be making very terrible stuff at the beginning, but as you go, you're going to be able to learn more and more. Now, um, this is another thing I'm going to ask, but, uh, was there anything that uh, inspired you hardcore to, like, pursue it? I know you said the uh, I Hate Everything was, like, a big inspiration. Like, what about him drew you to, like, wanting to make these uh, style of content and everything? Um, well, just people like him, grade A, uh, other people around my age, like Tricky Tom and so on, people that, those are the kind of people that drew me to start making commentary content specifically as one of my main things, because uh, just like the ability to express your opinions in a structured format with evidence and so on behind it, while talking about other people, trying to give them advice on how they can improve themselves, while also helping people who aren't related to that improve themselves if they're not in the same situation, if they're interested. That was a uh, short podcast for today, I guess, but uh, thank you for coming on and everything. I appreciate you uh, stopping by, and uh, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to talk to me today. No problem. Yeah, have a good day. Mm -hmm. You too. Bye-bye.